All right, so in this exercise, we're going to make this little block right here that has a hole through the middle where we're going to run a GT belt and then a threaded hole up top where we're actually going to use a bolt to come down here and anchor that belt in place. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing I'm going to do is reveal the origin just like so, and then we're going to create a sketch on the top plane here. And we're going to go ahead and use our rectangle tool from the center rectangle. So that is this one right over here in the sketch palette. We're gonna click on the origin and drag this out like so. The dimensions that we're looking at here are going to be 12 by 15. So go ahead and type those in and finish our sketch right there. We're now going to use the extrude tool and bring this up 13 millimeters. So we now have a cube. On the right side over here, we're going to create another sketch. So make sure you click on that face, then click your sketch command. And at this point, we're going to, once again, make a rectangle on this face. So using the rectangle tool, I'm going to go over here and just lay down a rectangle. This is going to be 3.5 millimeters by 6.5 millimeters. But we want to position this so that it's always in the center of this block. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and go into our line command, but I'm just going to hit the L key this time. I'm also going to rotate the view just a little bit here so you can see where I'm clicking. I want to click this down in the center of this line right down here and then bring it up like so. So what I'm looking to do here is put this right at the middle so that even no matter what we do with this, we're always going to position this rectangle in the middle. So clicking on this point, and then holding control and clicking on that line right there, I now have those two areas selected. And I'm going to go up to my constraint and I'm going to click the midpoint option right here. So that's going to put that point in the middle of that line right there. So that will lock it into its position. Now, just for good measure here, I'm going to click on this line that we created here just to position everything and hit the X key. That's going to make that a construction line. The other option of doing that is you can actually um, select or deselect over here in the sketch palette, whether or not that's a construction line. All right, we're going to give that a dimension. We're gonna make that four millimeters up from the bottom of our cube. Finish sketch. All right, so now we're going to select that area that we just sketched out there. We're going to go into the extrude tool and we're actually going to drag this back through the part. The distance is going to be all and we'll click okay. All right, so now we're going to do something a little bit new here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click on this top face up here and go into the sketch command. And what you see is that there's this origin that's actually projecting through. If I middle mouse down and kind of rotate a little bit, you can see that it's actually um, going from all the way down here up into the center of this sketch right there. So it's actually projecting through. I want to go ahead and create a point right there. So under the create tab, I'm going to go down to point and we're going to click that right in the middle there. So that is connected to the origin projecting up uh, along the Z axis right there. We're going to use that to position our hole. So making sure that we have that selected, I'm going to click on the hole tool right there. And rather than drill through all here or even give it a dimension, what I'm going to use this time is up to an object. And then we're going to move the camera down here, click on this face, and we're always going to go up to this face. I want to make sure that we're looking at a five millimeter hole right there and this is going to be tapped so everything there looks correct go ahead and click OK so what we've done here is we've created what is a fairly simple block however we can actually do a lot of modifying this to this and it'll still maintain its shape so even if we go and we make this 17 millimeters tall this rectangle cut through here is still going to be in the exact same location and that hole is still going to be going through to the uh, rectangle cutout there every single time. Also, if we changed the dimensions here on our very first sketch and maybe make this, I don't know, 25 millimeters long or 20 millimeters wide, you can see that the rest of our geometry that we've created here is still in the same location, which is exactly what I want to see. If you can design a part that is easily flexible and still kind of keeps the critical dimensions, then I think that that is uh, an optimally designed part, at least in my opinion. So that does it for the design of this part. We can go ahead and save this as a tension take-up block. Now, if we wanted to make this a little bit more fancy, we can obviously go in here into the chamfer tool 
and just have some more fun with this. So that right there completes that part.